So I tried an intense recluse before, but I believe it was like the foundation build or just above the foundation build. And this bike is the intense recluse factory, I believe, elite. The difference between the uh, foundation build was that it did not come with carbon fiber rims. In addition, we have next race face ah, cranks and they are carbon fiber as well. So this bike has a lot of carbon fiber on it. The frame is all carbon. The rims are carbon. They are actually Intense's new carbon rim that they have just come out with. I don't know when exactly, if it was 2016, 17, or 18, but I do know that their rims are a new thing. This version is SRAM guide brakes and SRAM X01 drivetrain. All right, so let's see how this feels on a, this little downhill section. Woo! This thing is light, baby! Oh my gosh! I can tell you one thing. This thing is a heck of a lot faster than the other model. <laughs> This is a fast bike. It is light. <laughs> this thing just wants to go. Oh my God. <laughs> I can tell you just from that little descent that this bike it just picks speed up and just goes. You know, I have to probably attribute that, if I have to guess, one of the things, obviously, Spike is probably two, three pounds lighter than the other version, easily. They're just so light. I remember I was starting to try to bunny hop this thing, and no joke, I had to like relearn how to do a bunny hop. What I was doing was I was going for the bunny hop, and what would happen is I would go back, switch my weight to the rear end of the bike and pop up the front and the bike would literally just fly out from under me. It was like, I was like on like a BMX bike or something that was just something that was super light. It's, it's so light, it's scary. It kind of reminds me of like a supercar where they just have so much horsepower, they're so small and they're just so light that when you, if you tap that gas wrong, you're gonna just, you're gonna have yourself a bad situation. It's, Today, I believe I'm going to be going down distortion again. The reason why is because I want to give you guys the most accurate review possible. And I think this, for this specific review, I think it's very important I minimize as many factors as I can because I really want to tell you what I think of the difference between a higher end model is in compared to the same model but in a lower build quality. I just got back yesterday from St. Louis Obispo. You, I'm sure you've already seen it already. By this time, you've probably already watched it. My uh, trip where I went and met Brian Kennedy from BKXC. Cool dude, cool dude, man, super cool. Uh, just super humble and just excited about what he's doing, very passionate. So I had this bike out there but I was so focused I'm just trying to keep up with that guy, man. He dude's a monster. I was thinking like, oh, okay. I'll go out there and hitch a ride with Brian. We'll have a great time. And I'll do, I'll do a review as I'm doing a ride with him, you know? Kill two birds with one stone. But with my condition and where I'm at physically right now, um, due to my re most recent injury as well, I just needed to just focus on keeping up with the dude. So that was my focus, just keep pedaling. And I literally had to tell myself over and over, just keep pedaling. In terms of climbing, one of the things I've noticed is since it's a lighter bike, it's far easier to like lose your traction when pedaling uphill. So you gotta be in a lower gear, gear than I'm used to when trying to pedal up technical sections because I can generate far more power um, in comparison to what I actually need for this bike because it's so light. So a lot of times I'll lose traction when I'm trying to go uphill. It's just something you gotta get used to, not a big deal. But I can tell you right now, this thing pedals uphill really nicely. When I was in St. Louis Obispo, I could definitely feel the difference in terms of uh, how light the bike was and how it actually contributed significantly to uh, 
how it contributed significantly to me being able to get uphill faster. The seat tube is actually, I don't know if you would say more slack. It's not slack, it's, I don't know. It, the geometry of this bike allows me to pedal more efficiently. All right, guys, it's Tony with NTB drop in and we're dropping in. Dig it in, baby. Oh, whoa! Guys, oh my gosh, it's one of the funnest rides I've ever had on a bike. Oh man, I'm just getting through these corners, baby. Gosh, guys, this bike is just... I want this bike! <laughs> I want it bad! You know what? Oh my gosh. Oh wow, that was a bad line. Got through it though, baby. Oh, I'm gonna get through there. Pump it, baby. Fuck me up front, but I'm good, baby. I keep saying, baby, I just go crazy. Ah. Oh man, see a tiny breather till we get crazy again. My goodness. Ah, uh, gotta got to dig in.
Yeah, guys, this thing is just so nimble. So dang nimble. I've been able to take turns lower, quicker, faster than I ever have been. Okay, so that was a quick little review, guys. This thing blew me away. Guys, this thing was unbelievable. I want one so unbelievably quick. Like, I just felt so much confidence on here. It's just a great bike. So, if I have, if you have the money, is it worth it? It is worth it, my friends. All right, guys, just a quick reminder. Just remember to like, share, and subscribe, guys. And remember, go to if you need to buy anything from Amazon, that's how you can support my channel. You can go to Amazon through my links and buy whatever you guys needed to get. Boom, MTB dropping gets a cut. So always remember that, guys. So again, guys, just want to thank you for dropping in. It's Tony with MTB dropping, and I'm dropping out.